Now, ladies and gentlemen, it has been brought to my attention that in 2023 and season two of NBA 2K24, people still do not know what the best layup packages is and how to time the layup packages. So without an introduction, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all and show y'all the best layup packages on NBA 2K24. Now, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, but I'm gonna go ahead and dive into it real quick. So these are all the layup packages I have used since the game has came out. And I found about three ones that I love, four of them that I love the best. So starting off, what I do use on this guard build is Trey Young. I have an 84 driving layup, but this one requires an 80 with the height under 6'5". But Trey Young's driving layup has the best floater package, honestly. If you have float game on goal with Pro Touch on Hall of Fame, you cannot be stopped when it comes to floater. So you can have a deep three and it just drives when you get locked up for the floater. So Trey Young does have the best floater package, like I said. Now with Russell Westbrook, if you have a slasher build, this is best for you if you do not like doing floaters like dunking instead. All you need is a 79 driver left. You have to be under 6'10". So that is very good for like anybody who's really trying to get it, yo. So just have a 79 driver left. With LeBron's layup, uh, you got to have an 87 for it, but you get blocked easily. So I really wouldn't suggest this, honestly. Darren Fox has the best contact layup for guards who don't like doing floaters instead. Like the driving, like people such as Kyrie and stuff, you know. Darren Fox, Trey Young, and Giannis have the best uh, Euro steps in their package, so I really like that a lot about this. Uh, DeMar DeRozan, it's a little flashy and stuff like that. All you need is an 81 for it, but it's kind of slow to me. I feel like I can get like grabbed and like, you know, stuff like that easily. Now, Jimmy Butler's, I do not like this one. I tried it out, and I just couldn't cope with it. You got to have a 69 for we skip past that one. LaMelo Balls, he has a 78. I don't like that one either. It looks flashy, but it's just slow as hell, and I can't get over that. Now, Giannis, if you're a tall build, Giannis is the best for you, bro. A drive layup of 88. It's like the long athlete layup, but, you know, you get a good Euro step with it. You get a lot of space when you use it. And anytime you're usually having the layup as, like, a tall build, you're going to, like, have your fingers above the rim, which should be easier for you to make if you see what I'm saying. But these are the best layup packages I have just given y'all. All right, so now we're in the Gatorade Center. And I'm going to go ahead and keep it a stat with y'all. Damn, wait, hold on, it's so, it's so dark in here. I'm going to keep a stat with y'all. Most layups, I do not know how to do. But today, I'll be teaching y'all how to do a floater, a uh, hop step layup, euro step layup, a uh, reverse layup, and a scoop layup. Now, back then, the little acrobatic layups and stuff like that, well, I just did one right there. But the little acrobatic layups that was, like, nice and stuff, I can't really teach y'all a tutorial on that because it's, like, it happens on its own when contact is included. But I'm going to start off with the layup that I always use, which is the floater. And I use like every game mode, honestly, because I shoot. I like to shoot threes a lot, right? When they catch on to that, they like to press up. So when they press up, I use my blow by badge, get past, I do a floater. So floaters is easy. What you want to do is run to the rim. And when you, if you're holding R2, when you do the float, you got to let go of R2. So run to the rim, hold your right stick down, and then you time the floater layup. So it's like this. Let go R2 and time to lay up. Now, look, hold up. We ain't gonna talk about that. See, in game, I'm, I'm tough with layups, but I don't know why. It feel like it's like delayed in here or something. But here's another example of a floater. It keeps bouncing back. I don't understand why, but that's a, an example of a floater. So you run to the rim without holding R2, hold your right stick down, and you got a floater. But you should be like a distance from it. Let me see how close I can get while getting a floater uh, animation. All right, that's not a floater animation, but you know, you gotta have like a little space away from the rim. but. That's how you do a floater. So now, next up, I'll be teaching you how to do hop step layups, which is easy. That's another thing I use. They got badges for this stuff uh, as well. But so a hop step layup, you can hold R2 while doing this. I know everybody like knows how to do this because uh, it was overpowered in 20. But long story short, you run to the rim, hold on R2. Uh, all right, y'all had to step back. I forgot to tell y'all. So if the ball's in your right hand, when you get when you're about to do the hop step, like while you're doing the hop step. Move your stick, your left stick to the left if your ball is in the right hand. That's what I do. Then a hop step, then I do a layup. So you got to hold R2 and tap. I, I don't use my analog stick when I do layups. I, like, if you know what I'm saying. I tap square and stuff like that. So boom, tap square, light work. And I don't even think you got to, like, position your stick sometimes. Just tap square. Let me see. Yeah, just tap square, and then you got a hop step layup. So that's a quick little tutorial on a hop step layup. Now, I do this a lot. I, I find myself doing this a lot, even though I don't be wanting to. But I'm going to teach y'all to spin a uh, layup next. So that's easy. Same thing as, like, the hop step one, honestly. You just uh, run to the rim, double tap circle, and you got a layup. That was sexy, bro. Pause. But that was nice. So that's how you do a hop step layer. I mean, a spin move layer right there. It's just simple. Hold R2, 
double tap square, easy lay. It's light work. So that is the uh, spin move layup. So now what we got next is a euro step layup. So euro step layup. Now in 19, bro, I wish I, I bro. Every day I reminisce about why I deleted my clips on 19, but I had a two-way slasher. He was 6'9". He was like the best thing I ever made. So I did euro dunks with him all the time, and it was just overpowered. So now with the euro layup, uh, Giannis and, you know, Trey Young and DeMar DeRozan, I found them having the best uh, layup packages with Euros in it. But when you're uh, running to the rim, you don't hold R2 for this. Because if you hold R2 while you're doing this, you can get a spin layup. So when you're getting to the rim, let go of R2 and double tap square like this. Boom. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. See, it's a, you got slow ones, fast ones, stuff like that. I can't really, like, control on how what types you get. But, yeah. Oh, hold on. That was bad. That was bad. I'm tripping. I used, uh, back when 24 first came out, season one, like the first week, I used to use floaters and Eurosteps a lot, Now I just use floaters and hop steps. But yeah, your, your layup right there, light work. Now, last thing but least is the reverse layup. I never use reverse layups. My people talk too fast. I never use reverse layups because I'm never in the corner. You see what I'm saying? But it's easy. Whatever side you're on, you hold a stick to that side. I think you can hold R2 while doing it. Let me see. You can hold R2 while doing it, but yeah, that's how you do a reverse layup right there. Simple as that. So now that is it for the layup uh, tutorial, layup best layup packages right there. Quick video. If I did enjoy this, go ahead and leave a like. Let's get to 20, 10 or 20 likes. I don't know, bro. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications. Now, if this tutorial did not help, don't forget y'all can go to options and go to the 2KU tips if I did not explain this well enough. But without further ado, I'll see y'all next video.